Adam, what's up? It's Kevin. Listen, I'm sending you this on your personal voicemail. So no one else should be hearing this or anything. So if you're around anybody, why don't you leave the room right now and just listen to me alone while I fucking talk to you about something important, okay? Because I want to say something. Your behavior last week was unacceptable, okay? Jess and I came all the way down there to have a business meeting and you start pouring the shots and stuff like that, <clears throat> you know, before 2 p.m. And that's not right for anyone, okay? And um, it's 425. Okay, see, okay, see, I know what I'm doing. I don't really think you know what you're doing. And frankly, this is unprofessional. And I don't think, I mean, we were supposed to, we were supposed to film a promo, have that out by now so I could edit it. I'm obviously looking for work. So I just, I, you know, it's been all week and I haven't really received a formal apology from you yet. And I think that um, you are really screwing up a golden opportunity that we have with this Patreon, with what we're doing here. <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate chicken wings. Um, I think you fucked up big time. And I think you owe me and Jessica an apology. And so does your wife and so does your daughter. And... Yeah, I'm 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 sending to this to you in private. And uh we gotta get together. I wanna reveal Bill and Ted. I wanna reveal Tenant. Review review them. And I wanna you know get this shit rolling because it's been too long and we haven't recorded anything properly. Since you convinced me to leave the American Radio Network where we were paying good money to record our shows. It was your idea to leave. And not pay them anymore and not use their equipment. So here we are a year later and we don't have anything. And frankly, I'm just going to place the blame all at your feet. So, <clears throat> you need to call me back. This is a private line. I'm not going to, you know... Um, this should go straight to your voicemail. So, yeah, uh, I just, I'm running out of things to say to you. We have so many of these incidents and I'm running out of patience. And if this continues, I don't know if we're going to be able to, you know, continue this opera. I could go on without you. Mornings in the morning can continue without you. You may have thought of the name, but I clearly am the talent. And this can go on very easily without your input. So, I mean, <clears throat> I just really don't know what to say to you anymore. Anyways, call me back as soon as you can. I'm not going to post this. Just let me know that, you know, you will change your behavior. And that you will be cool and go with my program. I need that commitment from you. If we're really friends, you will commit yourself to me. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably drop something next week, say. <clears throat> yeah, we'd better drop something next week. Or our four patrons are going to lose. They're going to lose. They're contractually obliged to, you know, stay on board with us. But they're going to lose if we don't make something next week. So, I'm trusting you to get your act together. And, you know, get in line. Be a mature adult. I know you can do it. I love you, man. Call me when you get this message, and um, that's what's up. 
I'll see you later, dude.